In a high-stakes trial unfolding in Delaware, President Joe Biden's son, Hunter Biden, stands accused of three felony charges stemming from his 2018 attempt to purchase a firearm while allegedly addicted to drugs. This unprecedented case, overseen by special counsel David Weiss, sees the younger Biden vehemently denying the allegations as he pleads not guilty. The trial's dramatic proceedings have already produced several key moments. Gun store clerk Gordon Cleveland testified that Hunter Biden showed no confusion when asked about his drug use on Form 4473, which he completed during the purchase of a Colt Cobra .38 special. Jurors have also examined the firearm at the center of the case, with Cleveland confirming the details of the transaction. Defense attorney Abbe Lowell's cross-examination of Hunter Biden's former girlfriend, Zoe Keston, aimed to discredit the notion that Biden was using drugs at the time of the gun purchase. However, Keston's testimony about his crack cocaine use just weeks prior may undermine this defense. Additionally, the testimony of Hunter's ex-wife, Kathleen Bull, highlighted his ability to function, despite his addiction. As the trial progresses, the courtroom has been riveted by revelations and personal anecdotes, painting a complex picture of Hunter Biden's struggles and legal battles. This case not only challenges the Biden family's public image, but also raises broader questions about legal and ethical standards for those connected to the nation's highest office.